Hey there, it's Chris with Footbridge Media. Look, having a single successful method of getting new leads can be great, but if that well dries up for any reason, you're stuck sitting on your hands with no work to do. The most effective contractors and home service providers know that businesses are best when they're supported with the right contractor marketing structure. Whether you're an HVAC, a roofer, an electrician, home service, or a construction company, your business can grow and thrive with the right exposure and lead development that comes from a well-executed marketing plan. Let's talk about the five pillars of contractor marketing that support your business success. Pillar number one, local optimization, getting found by customers near you. When we talk about local optimization, we mean your maps presence, sometimes called the map pack. It's the top three businesses that show up above the 10 blue links when you complete a search on Google. While not every search query shows the map section, many home service type searches will trigger it. Since the local map pack shows up above the organic search results, these business listings can get more phone calls than other search results page placements. Tactics to improve your local optimization. Getting your Google business profile to rank well doesn't happen by accident. It requires purposeful steps and consistent improvements. That can include, but is not limited to, claiming and completing your Google business profile listing. That includes claiming or starting your GPB anew if necessary and completing the verification process so that Google can confirm your business listing validity. From there, entering your Google business profile data as completely and as detailed as possible is important. Having the right categories, services, operating hours, name, address, phone number, photos, and videos all completed in an SEO friendly way without being spammy, that can all make or break your GPB success. Assessing and correcting your citation health, your business nap, your name, address, and phone number should be consistently placed in directories, listings, and websites throughout the internet where appropriate for your business type. This includes reviewing pre-existing citations, even if you didn't make them yourself, and making sure they are 100% accurate wherever possible. Having errors in your business name, address, phone number, or website address in these random places throughout the web, like the BBB, Yelp, yellowpages.com, etc., that can have a negative impact on your local optimization success, getting more reviews than your competitors. The answer to how many reviews do I need is always how many does your top competitor have? You need to be the top dog when it comes to reviews. It is one of the biggest factors that you have a direct influence over. If you buy spammy review services, you risk your GPB completely shutting down. Use on the job conversations and automated review management software to maximize your review count from recently satisfied customers. You should also be replying to every positive and negative review to demonstrate to Google and to users that you're invested in your business's success. Pillar number two, organic search engine optimization, the lowest cost leads to get online. Organic search optimization is all about making your website show up nicely in Google search results for queries about the type of work that you do. Organic SEO can and will take time. In markets that already have established businesses, your website and its content must outperform those other players to edge out a spot on the top. The benefits of organic optimization. When organic SEO tactics are completed properly, your website will appear as one of the top search engine results page links. While the path can be long and hard, the reward is strong placement for highly sought after queries that your potential customers are typing into search engines on a regular basis. That translates into more online visibility at a very low monetary cost. How contractors and home service providers can improve their organic SEO. Search engine optimization is all about having the right content and page structure to satisfy a searcher's needs. At the end of the day, the web content that best answers a searcher's questions will be the type of content that outperforms the rest. Not only does that require you to have a solid understanding of the content at hand as an expert in the field, be it electrical repair, roof replacements, or home remodeling, but you also need a solid understanding of how your prospective customers are seeking that information. The top plumber in town can do a great job talking shop, but if they don't understand how to translate that into homeowners' concerns and the keywords they might be using to search their problems, it won't do them a lot of good online. The right technical skills must be balanced with the right writing, editing, and online marketing skills at the same time. You can start to hone those skills by trying to think like a homeowner. If you had a leaky faucet or dirty driveway, how would you find someone to fix it? Do that Google search, see what others are saying, see what people also ask questions pop up at the Google search, and try to pinpoint how to best answer those questions. Pillar number three, paid advertising to quickly find searchers who fit your company's offerings. While it is not the cheapest way to go about building your client list, it can be an exceedingly effective way to do it. Instead of paying with time as you do with organic SEO, paid advertising on Google and Facebook will cost you some cold hard cash in exchange for immediate exposure. Google ads to find searchers who want you now. Google ads, previously called Google pay-per-click or Google AdWords, include a network of text and banner images that you find all across the internet. Most popularly, they are the top text advertisements that show up at the top of a search engine results page. The appeal of Google ads is that you can show off your website to people who are actively searching right now for services you offer. When a homeowner does a Google search for a query like AC repair, chances are they have an air conditioning problem that needs to be fixed now. Advertisers who've properly set up their Google ad campaigns can show up for those targeted searchers and be the first link for prospective clients to click when they have that immediate need. Facebook ads to find people who are the right fit for you. Compared to Google's understanding of searchers' intent, 
Facebook does a better job of dealing with the right type of person that fits your needs. Facebook's data is all about who its users are. While most people know it as a place where you stay connected with old friends or keep tabs with family, Facebook sees users as a complex network of demographics and psychographics. A Facebook user's online actions help create a snapshot of their key interests, location information, and more. Facebook then uses this information to connect advertisers to the right personas for their business needs. How contractors can maximize their paid ad effectiveness and costs. More often than not, sloppy accidents and inexperience end up costing small businesses, contractors, and home service providers more wasting advertising dollars than anything else. The most common mistakes are ones like not restricting your advertising to the right target physical areas that make sense for your business operations. When you're not careful, you can spend lots of money showing your ad to customers who aren't in your ideal service locations or even in your own state. Google ad keyword selection is also very important. Knowing how to balance cost-effective phrases and restricting tangential yet unrelated queries helps you to keep your ad campaigns on point. Facebook ad audience selection also can be problematic. The wider net you cast, the more people see your ads. That could be a good or a bad thing, depending on how you run your ads. Your audience relevancy impacts your ad effectiveness. The benefits of paid advertising over other lead generation tactics. Paid advertising is a very valuable tool in the marketing toolbox. Some contractors more or less run Google ads consistently to continue to find the right customers for their business. Others turn them on during slower times and dial down their spending during peak seasons or naturally busy times. Some users use paid advertising to bolster their lead flow until organic optimization can take hold. Google and Facebook ads are versatile. They can help you to achieve a wide variety of marketing goals as best works with your business plan and budget. Their ability to be turned up or dialed down when necessary gives you solid control over your lead flow. While it does require some capital investment, the ROI on paid ads for contractors can be well worth it. Pillar number four, customer referrals and building the cheapest sales force possible. If you're not actively running a customer referral program for your business, you're leaving a lot of money on the table. You've spent a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to find, convert, and satisfy a customer. You shouldn't just throw them away once the final bill is settled. What makes a solid customer referral program? Maximize the value of customers by promoting an incentivized customer referral program. An effective customer referral program follows a few key guidelines. They are clear and easy to use. There should not be confusing rules. Your customer referral program details and fine print should not be buried somewhere deep in your website that no one can find it. Actively promote your referral program by making a page on your website, perhaps under the about section of the menu, with a clear outline of how people should share referrals and the benefits they receive. Promote your referral program at the end of every job, verbally when you're talking to a client, and then leave behind packets as a reminder. That can look like postcards or business cards that have a link to your referral page. You can even do a promotional magnet with your referral program details that can be placed on homeowner's equipment. Powerful prizes and incentives for all parties. 10% off of your next service is not going to make anyone jump. A $250 gift card for a popular steak restaurant in town could excite people. Contractors who are not familiar with referral plans get nervous about promising a $250 gift card, but remember, you're only going to pay that out when a referral job is bought and paid for. You won't be handing out gift cards if you don't get a job out of the deal. If you're a roofer, you're paying your salesperson way more than $250 for a completed roof replacement. Make the prize fit your business type and operations, but also remember to make the prize tempting at the same time to maximize your impact fast delivery of reward, and a public demonstration of thanks. Your priority should be reward delivery to your referrer as soon as the job is done. Getting their reward to them in a timely manner will help to reinforce your standing with that past customer and further influence future referrals. Use your company's social media to thank customers for referrals publicly. It's a fun pat on the back for all those involved in your referral process, and it promotes your referral program at the same time. Pillar number five, community presence being a good citizen in the real world and on the internet. Before the modern age of the internet, and even before the days of the phone book as the primary marketing tool of the contractor, tradespeople earn their livelihood from their connection to their community. The contractor selection process tends to be far less personal these days, but that's not to say you couldn't benefit from how you present yourself and your business in your community. Active in your physical community. We're not talking about billboards, radio ads, or bus stop posters. More simply, be a good steward of your community. Sponsor a little league team, pay your staff to volunteer for a day at a local nonprofit, and participate in local events as your company. Being present is good for your employees, but also good for your image within the community. While it may not provide the same ROI as paid advertising on Google Ads, it will help your business longevity over time. And good standing on the internet. Aside from your website and Google Business Profile review replies, your business should maintain a presence on social media. An active social media presence is like proof of life for some customers. A well-rounded online marketing presence should include basic Facebook activity at a minimum, sharing pictures of your work, your team, and otherwise related yet interesting content.
And that's it. Those are the five pillars of contractor marketing, local optimization, organic search optimization, paid advertising, customer referrals, and community presence. They make up the foundation of a well-run business. Building a business plan incorporating all five pillars will give you the structure that supports successful contractors and home service providers. Finding the right team to support your business and marketing foundation. A considerable amount of work goes into business and marketing success. Unless you have a full-time marketing staff at your disposal, it's difficult to do it well. Instead of putting a full-time staff on your payroll, our contractor marketing agency can take on your business growth needs. Powered by 20 years of niche contractor marketing experience, the pros at Footbridge Media are ready to help support your business and develop your contractor marketing pillars. If you want more contractor marketing tips and tricks, or you want to develop your customized marketing plan to fit your budget and business, you can check us out online at footbridgemedia.com. Otherwise, you can hang out here for more contractor marketing tips and tricks.